everyone, this is Mac from CGMAX7.com and I'm here to make a tutorial on how to create an, an uh, environment. Now basically I experiment a lot and I found this way pretty easy and nice and I hope this will help you as well. So basically what you're watching right now, I have organizations of layers and uh, the output was something like this which I experiment a lot and this was the output came out so it might be look uh, like quick and dirty for you and like I said I was just experiment something but the concepts the ways it comes out it was pretty meaningful now in this tutorial I don't I won't go in the depth of this uh, how to create the environment with in much details but I will try to explain as much as possible so let's get started so what you uh, watching right now in the layers panel uh, let me just undock and let me explain what's going on over here so first I have a construction line which basically for the prospective views and uh, your vanishing points and I set to 50 percent and it's on vivid light so it's easy to see and the second is I put it into a rough design uh, it's in the group and you can see um, it's basically your rough design which will be the opacity will be 50 percent so it's going to be a transparent and easy to see and you will see how these things will work out and third is the objects the objects is like you play some like a correct character or some like a plane or anything which is important and you want to keep it in a separate layer and the fourth is the concepts so the concepts obviously in here there's the FG, MG and BG and if you notice there's the mask going on and you can create those clipping masks and I, I'm sorry it's not clipping but it's this mask you can create over here and it's easily can be created so I undo this All right and uh, FG basically it's like foreground the foregrounds will be so this is all going to be over here and you will see how it's going to be work and uh, in the MG it's obviously the middle ground and the BG is your background now also there is another layer which is B BG I didn't come up with any good name so I put it just BG so it's basically uh, we going to put your last layer and it's basically a gradient it's going to be put it over here and you will see so anyhow let's get started and I hope this was pretty understandable if not you can watch it again okay let me put it over here and close this so we start with BG the last layer as you can watching right now and I recommend you to name all these layers if possible and second thing I recommend that keep your reference opens in the side of the window or whenever it's possible because it's make things easier now in my case I have my reference in another computer which is open right now and I'm watching those reference and it will help me and guide me a lot now this can be any reference it's up to you it could be mountains buildings anything but it should at least will help you and keep you in, on the track so let's get started with the BG first and I'm going to take a gradient I hit G which is a short key for the gradient and I set my gradient on this point now I don't know what exactly it calls but I set it on this point and basically by default it's set on this but you can go with this one and I found this in this way you can create the sun light which is like this and if we go something like this might be easier for you to see so you can see this the spot is this kind of sun you can pretend and this like fades off outside so it's easy to start with this so I'll take my I got a lot of gradients over here so I take this one 
and again I quite it's kind of light and hard to see but it work anyhow so I take my brush for B for brush and I take my foreground color around say this one and it's already on 50% and I take my round brush and make a horizontal line and create a vanishing point over there now I'm assuming you already know about perspective if you don't know just learn okay so these are the perspective lines and yeah that's it so now we start with the rough and I take my little bit dark black not exactly the black but a little bit dark gray you can say so I didn't come any concepts so I am going to create some roughly designs let's see what comes out so I'm totally blind playing right now So this is basically the rough sketch which I come out and uh, okay let's get started. So first things first I start with the FG which is our foreground and here's the trick what I'm going to do. I take this layer into 100% and make it a little bit dark gray not exactly the black. I don't go with the black yet and I believe you should do the same don't go with the black and I take my brush and what I'm going to do in the foreground I'm, I'm going to make a silhouette now silhouette basically is like a um, you can say overall detail not detail but it's like overall shape which defines the profile of the object and it's the same so what I'm doing is just creating a silhouette over here and make sure it's totally fill if not I will tell you let's say for example if I miss this part and I didn't fill it that's fine what we're going to do is hold down control and I don't know about the Mac maybe it's I don't use Mac much so it's on the, I'm on the PC right now but if you just hold down control and click on the layer you will see there's the selections comes out and about this point what you can do is select this magic quick selection tool which, or you can take laser tool laser tool will be fine and you hold down shift to add the selection and you just add the selection it's easy for you and what you're going to do after that is hold down alt and backspace just to fill that layer and now what we're going to do is create that layer into a mask and by I'm just going to it's already in selection I didn't deselect and what I'm going to do is just click on this button and this will be a mask so here's the trick that whatever I'm going to sketch it doesn't go out it's always stay filled in and what actually I 
make a mistake I have to do it on the group so I can you know individually if I create an, uh, any layer so it always stay in the group and doesn't co come out from out of the group so uh, sorry about that <laughs> and yeah I'm going to create this there and yeah also it won't work the mask because I, I already created so what I'm doing is deleting that mask and creating a new one in the group and here it's done now these are it's linked you can unlink if you want but I didn't find that useful so I keep it that link so anyhow let's get started now let's get started with the MG and we're going to fill that layer noticing what I'm doing over here that uh, I'm trying to make things pretty random I don't want to keep it symmetrical cause in nature things are pretty random it's not pretty symmetrical so you should play pretty random and like I said I didn't came out with any concept so every step by step I'm creating something building something new so I hold down control and make a selection and just alt backspace and if this comes out doesn't matter no problem Con just hold down control D go to property bar and if you don't see this tab you can always go down uh, windows and hit property so over there, so it's checked. So I got this one, and you just click on invert. And this one. And now in this situation, I'm going to hold down Z. And just zoom out and see like it's like a thumb lens so it gives me a you know good reference a good perspective and tell me what exactly how the composition is working and I believe in, in uh, concept arts when you're creating environments the composition is really really important We're just creating some backgrounds over there, and it's all silhouettes. Holding down Control, going there, all backspace, Control D, and make it inward. And here you go. Now coming in details. Now you can play with all the details. Now for the object, I think I will create some rivers over there so let's start with the river
what I come out and I think this will work out for you as well and I know there's a lot of details that need to be added but this is just a tutorial to show you what can you can make and how you can create those things very easily which this method and I hope this tutorial was pretty useful and thank you thanks a lot and have a nice day